Hello and welcome to another edition of the Friday Market Update. So brace yourself for 2025. It's going to be a fun year in real estate. This week, mortgage rates ticked up just a hair, but still pretty low compared to just a few months ago. There was so much anticipation of the Fed cutting rates last week. And now that it happened, the markets are now just trying to anticipate the Fed's next move. A lot of money moved over into the stock market, which kind of raised the interest rates a little bit. Now, as I have said many times before, it's all about inflation and jobs. PCE, personal consumption expenditure, the Fed's favorite indicator of inflation, came out today in line with expectations. It was, it was good. The markets are feeling very comfortable right now that inflation is under control and will drop down to the 2% target in 2025. It may go up just a hair in the next couple months, because of replacement values, but overall it is trending in the right direction. It doesn't erase all of the big increases in prices over the last three years, but it does bode well for the future. So the Fed actually mentioned that they have a slight concern of future negative inflation. I wonder what they're seeing behind the scenes that would make them think this way. So the key to mortgage rates right now is jobs. Jobs truly impact the economy. When people are working, they spend money. They go out, they go to bars, they go to restaurants, they buy things. So next week is Jobs Week with the BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics job numbers, being reported next Friday. I don't think the job market is nearly as strong as the Fed leads us to believe. Let me give you some of my perspective on this. Consumers are getting squeezed from past inflation and high interest rates. It's just too high. There is not a lot of hiring of full-time jobs. They're mostly part-time jobs. Employers are not increasing hours and simply hanging on to trained employees for as long as they can to see if things turn around. At some point, they may have to let people go. So lots of small businesses are still closing up. That's from the anecdotal da data that I hear from my credit processing guy who says he's seen it all over the country. The JOLTS report, what is that? Job openings and labor turnover survey continues to show a decline. So those are future jobs that potentially would come into the marketplace. That's going down. The unemployment rate has gone from a low of 3.4% and now stands at 4.2%. It was as high as 4.3%. So the unemployment rate has ticked up. The savings rate for consumers is down drastically from where it used to be credit card debt has skyrocketed to an all-time high. People are spending their money on credit. That will come to an end at some point. So overall, the consumer is being squeezed. But what does all this mean? What the interest rates, including mortgage rates, need to continue to come down to help the consumer? I believe there are some underlying cracks the Fed doesn't want to talk about and that interest rates will continue to decline through 2025. My best guess is we will see conventional rates around 5.5% and FHA, VA rates near 5%. So these are good rates. It will keep the real estate market moving and people can go out and buy homes. You may have a thawing of people that are stuck in their homes that now want to take the equity and move into a house that meets their needs. So will real estate values go down if the economy struggles? No. There will still be buyers who can afford homes at the lower interest rates who will jump in and take advantage of it. And there are simply not enough homes for people to buy. It is a supply and demand problem with real estate that there's just not enough supply and there's plenty of demand. And if rates drop, there will be even more demand. So as I see it, we will chug along the rest of 2024 through the election and then the holidays and then watch out. I think 2025 will be liftoff and we will see a very incredible market in 2025 for that whole year. Hope you have an amazing weekend and we'll see you next week. This is Gaylord out. Bye-bye.